Hi, thanks for coming to my channel. This is Midnight Moon Tarot, and I'm Diana. This reading is for the astrological sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, or anywhere in your birth chart that Aries might appear. Also, if you're new to my channel, I'd like to take just a second and invite you to subscribe and click that little bell so that you're sure to be notified whenever I upload new content. Also, in the description box below, you'll find links to my social media, my Patreon, my PayPal, and links to some really cool things on Amazon. I think you guys will like. Okay, now this reading is for January mid-month 2021. Keeping in mind that all tarot readings are timeless, so whether you come across this reading right after I upload, a week, month, or even a year from now, if you feel drawn to watch it, most likely you'll find a message for you within the reading. Now if you feel like it doesn't completely resonate with you, just keep the parts that do, disregard the rest, and if you know your other planetary placements, feel free to watch those signs as well for additional messages. Okay, so with all that little intro being said, let's go ahead and jump right in and calibrate these cards to the astrological sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising Venus, and Jupiter, and ask our angels, guides, and ancestors for any love messages for Aries for the month the mid-month January 2021. Spirit, what love messages do you have for Aries for January 2021, mid-month? Spirit, what love messages do you have for Aries mid-month January 2021? one more time oops okay I'm going to divide these into three stacks okay the card on the bottom of the deck you'll see as soon as I do it is the ace of pentacles this is a wonderful card especially you know starting out a new year the ace of pentacles is all about that prosperity about new opportunities whether it's with love or money or whatever is going on okay so I'm gonna put this card right here and keep in mind that this is your overall energy for your spread so as we go through your reading I'm going to show you how that card is going to relate to the different cards that are coming up for you now for those of you who are new here I do four columns the first row pertains to you what you have been dealing with in your recent past, uh, things you're currently dealing with, and things, people, opportunities that are coming towards you. The second row has to do with your partner, um, twin flame, soulmate, divine counterpart. This could be an ex, could be somebody that you just met. However, generally, no matter what your current relationship status is, it is the person that is on your mind the most, the one you're thinking about when you wake up in the morning, and that last person you're thinking about when you go to sleep at night. Uh, this, uh, the third row has to do with obstacles and challenges, our fears and anxieties, those things that we do to ourselves to self-sabotage when we really want something to happen and our fears keep us from achieving that. Now, the fourth row has to do with that outcome. Now, the thing about tarot is this that it's not prophecy, it's about those energies that are present. So if you kind of know the energies that are there, you can be prepared for them. And the, instead of being reactive on what you would normally do, knowing that those energies are there, uh, you can prepare for like plan B and plan C, whatever. All right, now I've laid out two cards in each of the four rows, and I'm going to do that two more times for a grand total of 24 cards. So by the time we get to the end of the reading, we'll have a really good idea about what's going on, okay? Now in the first row, we have the lovers as well as the high priestess. And this is really good to start your reading off with, especially after having that Ace of Pentacles. Of course, the lovers is about that new opportunity, new relationships. It could be a significant relationship that is uh, taking on a more serious note. And of course, the high priestess is about uh, being meditative, taking that time out, being prayerful, thinking about what it is that you really want, making those decisions based on that and what you really and truly want. If you're currently in a relationship or considering uh, that you're in relationship, that you want to be in relationship, 
Uh, you may be thinking about a past love, kind of comparing the two. Uh, you know, every human being is different. So every relationship that you're going to be in is different, uh, even though it might not be exactly what you had kind of pictured in your head. Uh, there are a lot of good benefits to it. Otherwise, that lover's card would not be here. So you're going to have to decide, you know, exactly what it is you want inside the confines of that relationship. Now, when it comes to your partner, we have the Four of Swords as well as the Four of Cups, all right? Now, those Four of Swords are telling us that this person has been through quite a bit in their past. They have a lot of hurt that they've been going through, uh, kind of like they're shell-shocked or like I always want to call it this the PTSD card. You see these three swords that are hanging over them, yet he still has this one here beside him. So even though this is a time for him to think back, reflect on uh, the things from his past or her past, whatever it is that has hurt them and they are in a state of healing, uh, they may come to a point where they feel unsatisfied because they're afraid uh, pretty much to move forward. You can see that these three cups are here and it could be happy home, happy finances, uh, happy times that they're spending with you. But when it comes right down to it and this cup of love is being offered to them, they kind of have their arms folded like they're disinterested. They really are. It's just a matter of they are hurt and really afraid to move forward with that. Now, when you get to the obstacles and challenges, fears, anxieties, and self-sabotage, we have that King of Cups as well as the Fool. Now, this King of Cups is telling us that, yes, this is definitely what you want. You do want to, uh, you know, have this relationship with this person. However, with the Fool, you're wanting to just jump right in and act like it's all brand new and, uh, you know, Everybody here is a grown-up, and this person has been through a lot of hurt and pain, and you can't just jump in as if they don't have a past, because they do. Now, the thing about the Ace of Pentacles is you're in a situation, this uh, Ace of Pentacles is being offered, and here's this little doorway for you to walk through. Finding that correct time to uh, go through that door or for your partner to want to uh, go with you and take hold of that uh, Ace of Pentacles and, and take you by the hand and walk together through that um, little archway together to start a new life with you is something uh, you're going to have to consider. You know, you uh, if you're trying to move too fast, it may not be a good thing. Now, the Ten of Wands, the Tens are always about the ends of situations, and this Ten of Wands, he's carrying these burdens with him. You've been through a lot before previously in your past. You have a lot of things that are hurting you and that you are going through, and so in order to make it through this little doorway here, these two cards always come up together, it seems like. You're going to have to put these down to walk through that. It's like this and I don't say this a lot, it's like those little shopping buggies and Dollar Tree that have the little stick on them and you can't, you can't, you can go in there and buy all kind of goodies you want, but you can't take that buggy out of the door or cart, whatever part of the country you're from. You can't take that and walk through this door way right here with these. This is something that you're going to have to put them down in order to take advantage of that new opportunity. So this hermit is encouraging you to slow down. Look how you got to where you are now. Uh, reassess your goals about where it is you're going and carefully watch your footsteps. Not to walk too fast, not to move too fast, but to take it slow, okay? Now on the second column you have the Ace of Wands as well as the Two of Swords. Your partner has the Hanged Man and the Seven of Pentacles. In the Obstacles and Challenges, you have the Queen of Swords as well as the Two of Cups. you got a lot of twos coming up. All right, and in your outcome, you have the Six of Pentacles and you have the Page of Swords. So with the Ace of Wands, yes, this can be a very, very uh, successful relationship with you and your uh, new lover, your new partner. But there are, you know, there are still going to be some struggles. There's going to be a lot of things that the two of you are going to have to work through. Now we have the high priestess here, okay? You've got 
two columns and she's the number two card you have the two of swords and in the lovers card you have the the two different lovers so this is telling us that there are going to be compromises that are going to have to be made between yourself and this new love in order to make it worse at uh, work you're going to have to uh, kind of call a truce you're going to have to uh, come to like some kind of peaceful uh, negotiations in order to make things work because you know you're both wanting the same thing but you've both been through things in the past that have hurt you so you're tending to like if you're not the one if when you're ready they're not and when they're ready you're not it's, it's that kind of back and forth and it's leaving you feeling stuck as well as your partner as if there's not going to be any new growth coming up but the seven of pentacles says that if we take the time and we nurture this new growth and we baby it and water it and give it all the little nutrients that it needs and you know he's very carefully tending it check any little weeds any little thing that doesn't belong there and discard it in order that it can grow healthy and that the two of you can progress into your relationship now when we get to your obstacles and challenges fears and anxieties well we have this queen of swords and the queen of swords is someone who's been through a great deal of hurt and sorrow and things like that in the past and she's kind of the person that just doesn't want to put up with anything that is troubling or uh, if there looks like there's going to be a lot of drama she's quick to cut it clean and walk off but what this two of cups is telling us that in order to have this reciprocity in order to be loving in order to be strong for your partner's weak and and when you're when you're weak and your partner's strong you have to understand that there is a give and take there is this give and take you have to relax this person is not the one that is going to be hurting you so don't be quick to cut them out of your life because this could be a very significant relationship for you now when we get to your outcome we have the page of swords as well as the six of pentacles so again there may be times you're wanting to uh out of things you've been through in the past before you might want to like check up on your person you might feel like you are giving more than you're receiving back you might feel like uh you know that there's that that, that give and take isn't existing sometimes that you feel like they're taking more from you than they're giving back i just said that but it must be very significant for it to repeat itself like that but yes this uh page of swords is is like relax don't be so quick to like check phones and all these things you know uh you're gonna cause yourself more um trouble as far as uh, increasing the amount of insecurity or things like that that you're afraid um that you're afraid you're gonna find something and you don't and it might make you want to check again and again and again just to be sure okay now in the final uh, little set of cards here we have justice as well as the page of pentacles your partner has the seven of wands and the ace of cups okay now in your uh, obstacles and challenges we have the three of cups and the six of swords and in your outcome you have the sun as well as the eight of wands now with the justice card again this falls into uh, the same type of energy as this two of swords this is about you know making those decisions making uh something just clear cl clear cut and clean and making sure just once you make the decision to go ahead and jump into this relationship then let that be let that let that be you know don't keep judging it based on your past relationships you have the uh, page of pentacles which tells me that you're going to find a lot of stability and a lot of security from this partner and that together the two of you uh, can kind of achieve your goals and it feels as if you have a lot of the same uh, same goals a lot of the same things that you don't mind 
working for. So sometimes, you know, like if your partner's working overtime or you're working overtime, feel secure in the fact that they have their eyes on the prize and that the two of you are going to achieve this balance together and work things through. Now, uh, your partner has the Seven of Wands as well as that Ace of Cups, and they are definitely uh, wanting to uh, have this forever type relationship with you. They're finding a lot of joy and a lot of uh, warmth and emotional connection, a lot of um, sentimental feelings or such. And they are tired of like fighting with themselves. They're tired of having to defend in their own mind uh, whether they should continue with this relationship or not. Uh, They're coming to the conclusion that this is definitely something that they want to move forward with. So when we get to obstacles and challenges and those self-sabotages, yeah, this is, this is kind of the time that you're wanting to either party or, or either it could be that the two of you are celebrating this new romance and this new relationship. But at the same time, you have this undercurrent of feeling See these little choppy waters here, and this is smooth over here. You're wanting to move away from all of the past hurt and drama and move forward with your life, okay? And don't move, it's not moving away from this relationship. It's using this energy from the Queen of Swords to cut yourself free from those bonds that tied you to the past and all that hurt that you were feeling. So when we get to your final outcome, well, we have the sun as well as the uh, eight of wands. So a lot of this, you know, once you decide that you're going to make that decision, once your partner decides that uh, this is something that they really want the same as you do, you're going to find that it's going to be very successful. You have this uh, baby, which doesn't necessarily mean that there's a new baby coming. It means that it's a brand new relationship, kind of like that seven of pentacles you had earlier, where you have to nurture and maintain it and, and take care of it. Uh, but all of this is going to happen really, really quickly. It feels like there's going to be a lot of confusion about whether do I stay in this relationship, do I go? And then, and then when you decide your partner is feeling the same thing, like do they go? Uh, but it's you're both going to come to the same conclusion that this is something that's going to be beneficial to the both of you and uh, that it can actually be very successful. So we're ending this relationship with the sun as well as the ace of pentacles. Uh, we started this reading with the lovers and it looks as if uh, the rest of your January is going to be filled with love, romance, and excitement. Okay, uh, Aries, that is your mid-month January 2021 reading. I love you guys. I'll see you here in about another week. And uh, take care of yourselves, all right? Bye-bye.